I was a quivering wreck, an absolute quivering wreck, not knowing where I was going, what I was doing, and I had bad thoughts of, uh, well, you can understand what the bad thoughts were, not being here anymore. I felt disengaged and that everything was happening around me, but it wasn't, wasn't happening with me. And for me personally, it wasn't being shot at or being mortared that was the issue. Some of the things that, that haunted me most were seeing the suffering of the children particularly. And that's something that stayed with me when I came back. We realised that more veterans were committing suicide that were dying in battle. And we thought, this is not right. We have to do something. And this is when the charity started. When you leave the services, You've, you've lost that barrier around you where the services look after you all the time. They feed you, you sleep there and what have you. But once you're out of the services, you're on your own. So I spent 19 years in the military and, and in that time I served overseas in, on operations all around the world. And some of the experiences in some of those countries were quite difficult to deal with. And all I can say is when I left in 2005, it feels like you're just waiting for the next explosion. I'd just woken up one day and I couldn't go to work and I couldn't function. And it was, you know, in the old analogy, I'd hit, just hit a brick wall and I didn't see any way out of it or over it or around it. Um, and that's when, uh, luckily, I found Stand Easy. Stand Easy is a charity that helps veterans suffering from trauma which is called post-traumatic stress. The reason we're different is that we can take the trauma out very quickly. We use very specific acupuncture technique. It's effective, it's fast, and veterans do not have to talk much. And they're back almost to normal, very quickly. Well, before I came to Naji, um, I wouldn't go out anywhere. I had to go upstairs and just sit in the bedroom. I felt as though if I went out, I couldn't make it back. I was uh, some of the, the, one of the party that were raising a boat up out of the water that would come up that way and that should be coming up level. So when this bit got to the top, that just shook, snapped, 11 of them went into the water. And the one that we did save, I pulled, got, climbed down a, um, a little ladder, grabbed his hair and we brought him out. And we, I worked on him for, we didn't know see, uh, how to, resuscitate him in those days, more or less just put him over a barrel and to get the, get the water out of him. Well, I was doing that all the time for about an hour and until the doctor said, or the, the um, sick birth attendant who was on board, um, it's too late. I said, no, ne nothing, nothing's ever too late. We've got to keep trying. And he said, put him down, he's dead. And with that, I went, I couldn't believe it. He's, there he is laying there and he's dead. But these things have been flashing up in my mind for years. Then you think to yourself, well, that could have been me. And then you say, why isn't it me? But there we are, you, you've got to live with it. And I thought I could live with it, but I couldn't. But I can now. So the moment veterans come in, we ask them if they would like to talk about the problem. If not, they can still be treated and they can still get better. And when they're better, they would find it much easier to talk about things because they're not talking about trauma, they're talking about their life. I'd had counselling on CBT therapy in the past, but it never sat well with me. Um, I think there's only so much talking you can do. I found that they'd opened almost Pandora's box and, and hadn't um, taught me or helped me close it again. So when I came here to Stand Easy and had my first session, it was completely, um, I want to say mind blowing, but that's really, you know, uh, but yeah, no, it was, it was amazing. It was 20 years of carrying something around and actually someone believing in me and, you know, um, showing me that there's a way forward. I've done all the traditional talking psychologists and with various other organisations and it just made it worse actually. What's impressed me about this approach is that it's instant. And when I say instant, I mean the same evening that I saw Naji was the first time I'd been calm inside for years and years and years. And it's not almost like, it's not like you are trying to cure something, you're just trying to connect them back 
to their old self. It's almost something is in the way and the treatment takes it away. Therefore, they feel much more connected, much more alive, and they feel life again and can function. The only thing I can probably say is that my bad days now um, are better than my good days were then. You know, I haven't felt this good in the last 20 so many years ever since I first joined up. So yes, thank you very much. But really it's been quite profound, I think, meeting Naji, the way that he's approached the whole situation. Yeah, I, I think it could be life-changing. I've been feeling a different man altogether. And I can go out, I can meet people without hiding up. And I've been feeling absolutely wonderful. I would say my life has opened up to a new era. I've, uh, I've been through, I'm now 76 nearly and this is a new era for me and I can only progress.